Well, seeing as this motor is knackered anyway, let's do an autopsy on it. Let's try and pull it apart. It's got these press pieces here on its back ring, so you want to get those out. These aren't really getting in there though. Kind of is. It's not good. So I've got these little fingers I've got to try and get bent out. So I'll go around and take all these out. You can see what I'm trying to do here. So it's bent out a little bit. Do that on all these. We'll see if we can get this rear ring out. On the front side, it's also got these rivets. But I think that's really only for that front plate. I think I'm going to take it apart from the back. All right, so I've basically tried to push all of these out. We'll see if we can get any progress of actually getting to move. It's wanting to come out. I'm not too worried about destructively opening this up because it, it is definitely knackered. I mean, if I can fix it, it'd be great, but I don't think I'm going to be seeing that kind of thing happening. I'd be really surprised if it is possible to fix it. I highly doubt it will be. Okay, here's the rear cover. There's some washers that just fell out, little spacers. Some spring tensioners. There's another washer. So there is the main piece there, which is not sitting too well. I actually think it's detached. I need to get this pinion off here. Somehow, that's not going to be easy. But basically what I've got here is it's just... I actually think the magnet on the outside of that is detached. And that's why it's doing that. Hmm, this one gets apart further. Okay, let's manage to get the pinion off. Let's try and get the bush out now. Or the whole motor assembly out. Let's try and slide it out. Magnets are obviously fighting me though. Let's get support. There we go. There's another spacer. The washer. And that's the actual assembly there. So all we've really got is these like slip rings in here, like this. And in here we have this interesting arrangement for the coils. See those? So for some reason it's binding on this and this slip ring here that's on these. So for some reason these rings on here, this one here was turning. It's actually not tight. So see this? Maybe that's what the problem is, it's gone out of sync. Because so sometimes it's fine, other times it really wasn't. This other one's tight. So I don't think this was that easy to fix because you have to get this position exactly right. It's trying to slide it right off. Prize it, not with that one. There you go. So this ring is supposed to be glued on and it's come off. And so it's not in the right place anymore. I mean, it is a magnet, or is at least magnetic. So, yeah, that is stuck to the hammer as well. So it's a magnetic ring. And obviously the poles matter, otherwise it won't be in the right place. And because it's spinning, it's causing all kinds of problems. So can I identify where it's supposed to be from the glue pattern inside here? Right, so a big chunk right there. I think it's supposed to be there, like that. Yeah, so I think what's happened is this has rotated on here. It's come loose, rotated, gone out of phase with the motor, which has then made it bind up more. 
So let's put this back in, like that. And that's really, really stiff on there. I think it's just binding that's gone out of sync. So trying to fix that would be interesting. I mean, it's probably as possible, but uh, I wouldn't really know how. It's fun getting this pinion off. It has a really tight fit. Anyway, got it off. But yeah, um, I think that's all that's gone wrong is that that ring had come off and so it was out of sync with the magnets. This bottom ring is secure, top one was loose. So I think that was what was wrong with it. Mmm, that explains why sometimes it felt fine and it actually kind of wanted to go and then other times it just suddenly failed. So I'll just leave this outer ring off and there's the inside, there's the windings. So it's got some decent enamel wire in there, that's worth keeping just for that. Let's try and pop this out, I've just cut the um, inlet off, pulled it off and started cutting it, and I'm just trying to leave this out, there we go. There's one half, there's the other half, I've obviously broken all the ferrite, all the housing stuff when I'm moving this around, but uh, there's the two windings. Nice. Nice little score some wire there. This like this motor works, otherwise it's screwed. I'll just pop this wire off. There you go. Nice little coil of another wire. That'd be handy for sort of project in the future. Very handy. Good hookup wire and uh, bodge wire and you know things like that. It's quite a nice size too. There you go. There's the inside of a slipper motor. That's interesting. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters, um, much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing, any money goes goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and um, you know contribute to the channel, um, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, which is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up which was going to be rather random and erratic and I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained yeah if you want to support me that's great because um, that would certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby catch you later thanks for watching click the bell icon bye